All right. Now we're going to take the second half of our investigator turn with Sister Mary. So my wife is going to... She's going to search the st- um, so she's bookshelf. I'm going to search the bookshelf. So we're going to go back into the app. And since we're in this room, as you can see, we can manipulate the map to get where we need to go. And we're going to click on... No, the cursor doesn't quite line up, but uh, trust me when I tell you. I, I guess I'm going to turn the cursor off if I can, maybe between videos. But the cursor doesn't look right, at least on my video, on my preview. But uh, we're clicking on the question mark. A disheveled pile of papers sit on the table. So, the, again, this action symbol shows that she's going to take an action to search... The papers stacked on the table are invitations marked with today's date. The stars have come round to their positions in the cycle of eternity. The Vanderbilt Astronomy Association cordially invites you to a celebratory evening. Gain one clue, then discard this search token. So what she's going to do, she's going to take a clue token from the clue token pile. And then we're going to discard that search token. Which I have already done. And that is one of her actions. So now I will move, and I could move two spaces, but I'm choosing to move one because my next action in the future, on the next turn, I w- would like to search that painting. Okay. So Sister Mary abandons McGlynn to the flying snake creature in the other room <laughs> to get a clue token and run away. Touchy and that's. Roll. That's our turn. So now, we're going to go right into the first Mythos phase. So if we go to the app, and click on the end the end phase, and that's that little green arrow in the lower right-hand corner, we'll click Confirm. The old walls creak as the wind shifts, almost as if the building itself is alive. No immediate effect. So we'll hit continue. Now it's going to tell us what the hunting horror is going to do. The hunting horror moves three spaces towards the uh, the investigator within range with the highest health. Then it attacks that investigator. It's already in a space with me. So the monster attacks. The creature circles up into the air above you then drops a heavy stone down upon your head. Suffer three face down damage. Strength plus one negates. If you suffer one or more damage, you vomit and your vision goes white, becomes stunned. So, we go back to the board. We're going to look at my character sheet. My strength is five, and I get to roll that plus one. So I'm going to roll six dice. Unfortunately, they only give you five dice in the game. Again, I don't think the game came with quite enough dice. So I'm going to roll this. Then I'll take this blank one and roll again. So I got five successes. So I completely negated all of the damage that it did. Because it did three, I negated five. So I take no damage. We're going to continue. Now each investigator must resolve a horror check against the monster within range with the highest horror rating. After all horror checks have been resolved, tap the end phase button. So now we're going to do two things. Horror checks and uh, range and line of sight. So if we go back to the board, I'm clearly within range and within line of sight of this. Sister Mary is not within range or line of sight of a monster. Range is three within three spaces. So she, she'd be within three if there was another monster within line of sight. Doors block line of sight. So even if she was here, this monster wouldn't be within range and line of sight. So she still would not have to take a horror check. So the horror check, if you look at the monster, it's the blue symbol on the bottom there. So if there were multiple monsters on the board that I was within range and line of sight of, I would take a horror check against the monster with the highest. Since there's only the one monster, we are going to resolve a horror check against it. 
So we're going to call it up. Resolve a horror check. Confirm. The creature makes a strange whistling noise that pierces through the din of flapping wings and whipping tail. Uh, willpower difficulty 2. If you pass, you cover your ears and wait for the sound to fade. If you fail, you are deafened for a moment, and through the ringing silence, you hear the distant sounds of scream. Suffer two horror and become dazed. So. Going back to the board. <clears throat> Again, we're going to look at willpower. I actually have a decent willpower of four. And I believe it said I needed two. So I'm going to roll my four. And I'm going to get three successes. And it was willpower two, so I succeed. I don't take anything. If I pass, I cover my ears and wait for the sounds to fade. So we'll continue. Uh, my wife doesn't have to make a horror check. So we are going to continue on to the next investigator phase. Which we will do in the next video.